please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that's new when authorities in Cameroon opened this backpack they found a terrified creature trapped inside last great ape Laga wildlife law enforcement had been watching a couple of suspected wildlife traffickers for some time the pair were tracked as they traveled from southern Cameroon to the capital Yaoundé then in September 2007 they were apprehended and one of their backpacks opened and what it contained was truly shocking the suspected traffickers were found carrying a petrified animal and some 80 pounds of pangolin scales pangolins are an extremely sought-after animal in parts of Asia where their meat is regarded as a delicacy meanwhile the scales themselves are used in traditional medicines around a million pangolins have been removed from the wild illegally in the last 10 years making them one of the world's most trafficked animals their numbers in Asia have dwindled dramatically and while the ones found in Africa are slightly safer increased demand means they too are now under threat indeed two species of pangolin are listed as critically endangered by the IUCN red list of threatened species the two suspected traffickers a 23 year old man and a woman aged 22 were stopped in a hire car and arrested the woman had traveled to Yande from Mimtam a day earlier carrying the pangolin scales with her the man followed later with the backpack following their arrest the two were taken to a police station and remanded into custody pending trial the first hearing during which they pleaded not guilty was held on September 15 2017 and there the judge dismissed the pair's bail application and sent them back to the Kendungi Central Prison in Yaoundé Jean Nongdete is from Cameroon's regional delegation of the Ministry of Forestry and Wildlife Minfof accompanied by Laga we stopped a car and arrested these suspects who had suspicious looking bags he explained everything found in the search was as Nongdete states all forbidden by the 1994 law but it was what was inside the backpack that makes this trafficking story truly distressing zipped up in the hold all was a living mandrill Ape Action Africa reported that the backpack was filled with urine and excrement furthermore the mandrill was soaking wet from sitting in his own waist Ape Action added that the suspects had admitted purchasing the mandrill from a local man for 2,000 CFA about four bucks and intended to sell him for nearly 200 times that price time had run out on the pangolins but thankfully the mandrill was still alive when the authorities pounced Mandrills like pangolins are listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list of threatened species The animals are found mostly in evergreen rainforest areas Sadly though their habitat is being heavily affected by ruinous deforestation The destruction of mandrill habitats over time is one reason for the decrease in the species numbers However, a more immediate threat is posed by bushmeat dealers Mandrills particularly those living close to towns or main roads are hunted for food Bush meat is highly prized especially in Gabon where some of the mandrill population resides Ape Action Africa defines bush meat as the meat of any wild animal hunted for food The list includes elephants antelopes chimpanzees gorillas monkeys and crocodiles Apes are especially vulnerable because of their slow reproductive rate females generally give birth every three to five years hunting apes for bush meat is in fact illegal However, with the meat increasingly seen as a highly valuable delicacy the law is often broken But it's not the poachers making the mega bucks the big money is generally found further along the smuggling line in Asia and South America in January 2017 the BBC revealed some of the shocking statistics behind this secretive trade in wild animals Quoting the UN environmental program the corporation stated an estimated 3,000 great apes including orangutans gorillas and chimpanzees are lost from the wild every year as a result of illegal trade Happily the mandrill confiscated in Cameroon escaped being sold as meat aged about one the animal was clearly too young to be separated from his mother After all young mandrills tend to stay with their mom until she gives birth to her next juvenile The rescued mandrill was transferred to the sanctuary at Mafau and given the name Mintam after the place where he was found vets at the sanctuary will ensure his health is up to scratch before he joins a group of other young mandrels Mafau sanctuary is run by ape action Africa a conservation organization in Cameroon 
its stated aims are to address the immediate threats faced by gorillas and chimps in Africa and to work with communities to develop long-term solutions to ensure their survival in the wild. Formerly known as Cameroon Wildlife Aid Fund, the group also cares for sick and injured gorillas and chimpanzees. Furthermore, it takes in young primates who, like Mintam, are orphaned and too young to be separated from their mother. Mintam was reportedly starving when he arrived at the shelter. Once he was fed, though, his inquisitive nature began to show. A video posted to Ape Action Africa's Facebook page declared, it wasn't long until he started exploring his new home. The footage showed him feeding himself and even catching insects. He got a cricket in less than a minute, the video stated. Ape Action Africa says that once they're strong and healthy, young orphans like Mintam are reintroduced to groups of their own species in safe and controlled environments. The organization hopes that one day the great apes and monkeys in our care will be released back into the wild where they belong. As for the pair who were caught allegedly smuggling the mandrill, well, if convicted, they face up to three years in prison and or a sizable fine of about $18,000. Food for thought for any other would-be traffickers, perhaps. Please share this video with your friends below and don't forget to visit a new channel, watch JoJo MDS and watch JoJo Animals.